My name is Helen DeBose. I'm a 10 year breast cancer survivor. I founded the organization, Women Helping Women. Women Helping Women is a 501c3 organization that help ladies that have been diagnosed with breast cancer within the last two years. We help them by giving them a financial blessing that would help them with their everyday necessities, such as their light bill, maybe their medicine. We also accompany them to the doctor's office. I've also accompanied them to the surgery room with their families sitting there to help them cope with the ordeal that their loved one is going through. Women Helping Women has been around this year 10 years. I started out when I was diagnosed with breast cancer and on my one year anniversary my sister and my family threw me a surprise party. They were happy that I had survived this ordeal and was going through with a positive attitude. They raised funds for me to help me with my everyday needs. And at that moment, I realized perhaps someone else going through what I went through and did not receive the help from the different organizations that I had seeked out. So I decided that I would start the organization myself and I would help ladies that is going through the same thing I am going through with a financial blessing. What makes me proud and have joy in my heart is when I present the ladies with their big old check like Publishing Clearinghouse. And the big basket with all the everyday household needs and the different little goodies that we present them with. We make them feel special. We make them feel like a queen for the day. And the joy, the tears, the all of that makes my heart burst with love to see them smile. It just takes away what they're going through for a moment, and when I do that, that makes me happy. Difficulties that I ran into since I started the organization was lack of funds, donations from the different companies and businesses around town that I seek out. Um, they were very, very slim. When I'm trying to help the ladies, one woman at a time is my motto, but I would like to help as many as possible. If I didn't have the funds, then I would take the funds from my own personal bank account to help the ladies out in whatever I could. Within the last year, I became a 501c3 organization, and now the funding is coming in a little bit better. Different organizations are coming behind me. We're starting to partnership with a couple of them and we're able to help more women, which makes my heart happy. I must say the greatest strength of the organization is my team. My team around me who helped me put everything on who helped me go out and seek donations for the ladies I'm trying to serve. My biggest cheerleader was my co-founder, Angela Parker Smith, who is no longer with us. She died of breast cancer. She was diagnosed in 2017 and she died in 2018 one year. So you know the importance of this organization and what it means to me as we walk every day and trying to help these ladies. Early detection is very important. We can help with that by 
checking our self while we're in the shower or when we're laying down just resting in the bed. You know your body better than most. If you feel anything that is abnormal, please make sure that you call your doctor right away. My name is April Johnson and my role with Women Helping Women is I'm the fundraiser. I'm the person to go out to get those sponsorships. I am the one to uh, make sure things go accordingly um, as for money-wise. Um, however, um, my role when I started with my sister back in 2011, um, we know that we wanted, she knew that she wanted to help other women. In order to help other women, we needed sponsorship, we needed monies, we needed funds. So what I did was, um, in my bright mind, was thinking, hey, we need to get other people on board to let them know what health disparities, being that I work in this field. Uh, we have a lot of in unformed people concerning breast cancer. We have a lot of women that don't even know the first step to check themselves for breast cancer. However, um, less long, they don't even have money to get a mammogram. So those are some of the things that um, um, made me want to join the Women Helping Women and want to get money and sponsorship. So I go out and beg for those checks and all of those sponsorships, and we're hoping today that you guys have some money for us. Um, and if you don't have any, maybe your friend do, but we do appreciate you guys for being here today, and we just ask that you guys help us in any way you can so we can be a blessing, and we will love to do it one woman at a time.